What's up YouTube? Here's our project for today. We have this train unit right here that's apparently not heating. I went downstairs, checked the thermostat, and it is calling for heat at the thermostat. I uh, just got upstairs here. I'm going to check up here to see if we're actually getting a signal from that thermostat. Nothing coming out of here. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. So anyway, let's pull some panels off and get to work. Got my panel pulled off and immediately we notice we have little blinky lights. Blinky, blinky. So then we go down here, there's nothing that really indicates what two flashes means. It's just got a bunch of mumbo jumbo about flashing, test mode, checking for DC voltage. Um, nothing that really helps me. Now as I was standing here, watching that light blink, trying to figure out what it is, I could hear my uh, inducer come on and then I smelled a lot of gas coming out of my, uh, my heat exchanger here. So, being somewhat familiar with these trains, I'm going to see if I can get a power reading on that there igniter because normally those are just bad. Simple. Those are just bad. So, let's uh, see if we can bypass this thermostat, initiate a call for heat again, and, uh, well, no, actually there's probably a another call for heat already we just need to cycle it cycle power to it and reset it so it's not in its uh, lockout mode so yeah anyway that's what we're gonna do got my igniter probe disconnected leads are ready to go my meter is off right now but we'll turn that on in a second there's our igniter probe right there just comes right off of our ignition module uh, one side of our transformer, so we're looking for 120 volts. No big deal. I just gotta throw a jumper on there. Initiate a call for heat and see what happens. Alright, so we got 113 volts going to our igniter. But, we're not getting any ignition, so we have a failed igniter. So let me go see if I have one of those on my truck and see if we can't get some heat for these guys. Just walking around and I noticed this little guy is missing its top. It doesn't look like it's abandoned. Actually, I take that back, judging by the, uh, the lack of a Schrader core inside there. I'm assuming this is an abandoned unit then. Hmm. Maybe I'll just have to take that home with me. Do some experiments. Anyway, let's get back to work. It's time to focus. Alright, got a new igniter. There's the old one. Let's see if we can't get these two little 5 16 nuts out of there. A little focus right there. Good job, camera. Most of the time, those little 5 16 screws are sort of rusted in place. So it'll probably put up a little bit of a fight, but we'll see. Crap, man, that's tight. Might try another way. She had a rough life.
new igniters in. Now I couldn't get these little 5 16 out. They, they felt really, really tight and I didn't really want to break them off or um, run into a situation where they're just spinning around freely in there. So I opted for a different way. I just took this little, this little uh, metal L-shaped bracket that's right here. Take some needle nose pliers, just gently pull it back while you pull the igniter out. Now here's the old one. Now these are a, a silicon carbide igniter. They're very, very fragile. Make sure you don't touch them with anything, including your fingers, uh, because they will break in a matter of seconds. So, anyway, let's fire this thing up and see if we got heat. Now, I almost forgot to do this, guys. Look at the big picture while you're here. I should have done this before I went and got the part, but anyway, check your belt. Our belt looks good. Pulleys look good. Nothing too crazy going on there. Everything looks pretty good in here. No red flags. Filters are good. All right, let's put this cover back on and we'll power it up. All right, inducers on. I don't see anything glowing. There we go. And we have fire. And fire is good. All right. Right down here, it says temperature rise of 25 to 55 degrees or whatever language that is 25 to 55 degrees now our return temperature is about 64 right now we're climbing we're about 88 90 so we're getting there just a quick update before I go we're at just about 100 degrees so we're well above our 25 minimum temperature rise. So we're about 35 degree temperature rise. So that's going to do it for me tonight, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little video of changing out a train igniter. American Standard, whatever you want to call this thing. It's a train either way. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one.